enjoy yet. Muna Hamad hasn't lost any of her intellectual capacities, but is unable to move. Four years ago, Muna was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, which paralyzes her muscles and weakens her diction. The doctor told me that it was a degenerative disease. There is no cure. I just have to live with it. I'm a positive person. I'm trying to overcome this situation, to resist it. Long before her illness, Muna was a literature professor. Today, her life is split between her home and the palliative care unit, where healthcare workers try to alleviate her physical and psychological pain. The doctors are here to listen. We talk, we laugh, we tease each other. And that's psychological support. On her nightstand, there are a few pictures of her and her husband before her illness. And while the debate on end-of-life care rages on in France, Muna refuses to resort to assisted death. I don't think about death at all. I believe everyone is free to decide their fate. If one chooses to die, that's their choice. I choose life. If one day your wife decides she wants to end her life? I would say, OK, it's her decision. That's freedom. It's up to her. Currently, French law does not allow Muna to end her life using medically assisted suicide. She would have to go abroad, as many French people do, traveling to neighboring countries such as Switzerland and Belgium, which allow active euthanasia. However, the cost and the journey for those who are seriously ill are obstacles. This Friday, a French Citizens Council of 150 members is meeting to begin discussions on end-of-life care, including whether or not assisted suicide should be legalized.